Yep. Let's talk about some bad movies. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another Top 10 list. Welcome to my Top 10 Worst Movies of 2023 in this fucker's opinion. Yes, opinion. This is the list that probably everyone enjoys the most. Everyone's like, what are the stinkers? Let's shit on movies. <gasps> let's. Let's do it. It's fun. <laughs> I don't mean to be a dick. Just there's some movies I just hated. I couldn't stand. Couldn't get into them. And I'm just like... Ugh. <laughs> And some of these movies that I'll have on this list, uh, even my dishonorable mentions, they're movies that people liked. I just didn't. And there's a ton of shit movies that I did avoid. I, I saw I saw a bunch of crap this year, but there's a lot I avoided. I just I had no interest in watching. I'm just like, no, I'm not. I'm not. Just, I'm not doing it. I won't do it. I won't do it. All right, let's just get to this. Uh, there are five films that almost made the top ten worst lists. So here are the dishonorable mentions. First one is Family Switch. I almost wanted to put this on. I, 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 I was trying so hard to put it on the list because I hated this movie so much and just annoyed the shit out of me. Uh, but just all these other films piss me off a little more because there's some... There's reasons why. I'll get into them, but... This is a shit movie, and I couldn't stand it. Uh, another one was 65 uh, with Adam Driver. I can't believe um, a dinosaur movie in space uh, is this boring and generic, and it's like an hour and a half, but it feels two hours because it's so stale and generic and boring. Adam Driver, you're better than this. Uh, next is The Nun 2. Please stop with these Conjuring spinoff movies. I, after the first two Conjurings, I think we're done. Please stop. They won't because they're they, they they don't cost a lot to make and they make money. Stop seeing these movies, guys. And next is uh, if we're going with some Disney, uh, Wish. Did not like Wish. Thought it was really bad. I uh, didn't think the animation was all that good. The songs were really generic and the story was by the numbers too safe. And just, I don't know. I every any time I think of a bad Disney movie now, I just think of this movie like. Watch this movie, do the opposite of that, you'll get a good Disney movie. <laughs> and lastly is the remake of Little Mermaid. I thought that was really bad too. Some of the worst CGI of this year. Uh, Ariel, the new Ariel. Um, I was in it, Haley Bailey. Uh, great singer, not a great actress. Uh, the casting of these new characters were not really good. The songs were just the same, but shittier. And we had Aquafina rapping. Remember the swamp? Remember my song in the swamp? And I was like, wah, chicka, wah, wah, chicka, wah, wah. I remember. If that doesn't give you cancer in the ears, I don't know what does. Uh, people like that movie. I don't know. Maybe they were on crack when they watched it. <laughs> uh, they could make the list, but when they made my list, my top 10 list was my number 10. My number 10 is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumanium. What a piece of ass. Marvel just sucked ass this year. I know everyone's like, whoa, Loki. And I'm like, I haven't watched it. After Secret Invasion, I'm like, I can't watch these shows anymore. I just don't give a fuck. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania I did watch. It was bad. The CGI was bad. Uh, what they did was Scott's daughter. She was the most bratty and annoying character. They focused so much on her. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer has nothing to do. The Wasp has nothing to do. And Scott has nothing interesting to do. And Michael Douglas has nothing interesting to do. And it brings in the big bad, Kang. We all know what happened with Jonathan Majors recently. We ain't gonna see him anymore. <laughs> it's just a shitty movie. And you, you didn't even utilize Bill Murray. Like, he's just boring. Like, this movie is just so stale. It is, like... It's a great example of what the MCU is now. It's just bloated, ugly, and uninteresting. And the comedy is just getting annoying now and just yeah this movie sucked number nine was probably the movie that really just hit home for me just i hated it so much and just, i thought it was horrible and there are people who will defend this movie and they fucking love it that's cool i hated it and that was indiana jones and the dial of destiny i thought this is the wrongest way to do indiana jones the last five minutes was pretty good but the rest of the movie was complete dog shit and that's what stopped it from not being in the top five worst movies of the year I thought Harrison Ford wasn't that great. I hated this new fucking character, his goddaughter. Oh my god, she was ungodly annoying. Uh, the villain was generic. Uh, the CGI was terrible. The action was just 
lame and terrible. And James Mangold is an amazing director. This guy gave us 4v Ferrari and Logan. And this guy can't do good action scenes in an Indiana Jones movie. Like, my God, what'd you do to this man? Really shitty movie. Everyone thinks King Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is the worst after watching this. I will flat out say, and I will defend it, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is miles better than this. And it was a way better conclusion to Indiana Jones' story than this pile of ass. My opinion. Don't shoot me. Cover number eight was another uh, insulting to uh, past films, and that is The Exorcist Believer. This movie was an embarrassment to watch. It completely destroys the original Exorcist, bringing in both Elton Bernstein and Linda Blair, and the way they did those characters was awful. Just awful. The movie isn't scary, it's stupid, and it just completely misses the point of what made Exorcist scary. And they make it super modern, because... Uh, exorcism, the exorcism is about Catholicism, but they're like, we can't have Catholicism because people don't believe in that now, and we need to be politically correct, so we need to include everything, even if it makes no sense. This movie was shit, and it has no right to have that name, The Exorcist, even though there's a lot of bad exorcist movies, but this is the worst of the worst. Worst exorcist movie I've ever seen. I thought The Exorcist 2, The Heretic, was shit. This is a whole new level of shit. Good job, Exorcist Believer. Number seven, another movie from that's remaking a film from the past, and it's terrible. That's White Man Can't Jump. Why would they remake White Man Can't Jump? Like, what did like was? Are we were we really asking for a remake for White Man Can't Jump? Don't get me wrong. The original White Man Can't Jump is awesome. Wesley Snipes, Woody Harrelson, super funny film. This one takes all the comedy and just makes it the most basic and safe movie ever. Both of these characters have no chemistry, and they are not funny or enjoyable to watch. It was literally like, white man can't jump the stage play. <laughs> like, it was bad acting, shitty jokes, and just a waste of time. I wanted to watch it because I wanted to see if they could actually capture the humor in the heart of the original white man can't jump. They most certainly did not succeed at that. So, yeah, terrible. Number six was another shitty comedy called You People has Jonah Hill and Eddie Murphy, two people who are very capable of being very funny, but they are not funny in this one. This movie was very unlikable, very, I don't know, icky to watch. It was basically trying to be like, guess who's coming to dinner and guess who. It, we, the thing is, we've already had two versions of this already, and we don't need a third version. Guess who's coming to dinner was the white girl bringing the black boyfriend home, and then guess who was the black girl from bringing the white boyfriend home? So we had both versions, and they both are good and enjoyable films. This one is just doing guess who again, except it's being a lot more distasteful, unlikable, and very racist. It's a very racist film, and a very inappropriate film, and a not very funny film, and I hated every second watching it, so yeah. All right, top five, number five. Peter Pan and Wendy, the worst live-action Disney movie of this year, and it's cracking the top five of probably the worst live-action remakes. It's still not there with Mulan and Lion King. I still will only say those are the worst. Those are terrible. This one's shit, though. It destroys every character that you love. Tinkerbell is non-existent in this movie. She just sits there and smiles. You know, like, she's not like that crazy fairy. Peter Pan is just this generic kid. Captain Hook is just some mama's boy. And Wendy is not a nurturing, caring woman. She's a strong warrior fighter. She's the lead character. Yet yeah, Peter Pan is not even the main character of his own movie. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, this, and it's ugly too. The, the Neverland is not even nice looking or magical. It's gray and glossy and hideous. And just, this movie is just dog shit. And I thought it was complete trash. So, yeah. <laughs> Number four, The Expendables 4. Why did they make more of these? The, these were really never that great. I'm a huge Stallone fan, and I hate that he... Well, at least he's not really huge in the movie, but... The, the, like, we're done with these. Like, they, like I get what they were trying to do, bring the classic 80s and 90s action stars together in an action franchise. But after the third one, it was getting sad. This is just getting depressing now and just it's awful and bringing in rap artists now is not helping the situation just stop it just just stop okay 
Uh, number three is The Meg 2. This was really stupid as well. It's funny because my third favorite movie of the year was a monster movie. My third least favorite movie of the year is a monster movie. The first Meg was dumb and stupid and not very good, but it had some funny-ass moments. This one's even dumber, even shittier, and less funny, and Jason Statham doesn't know what he's doing in the film. And honestly, when we're watching it, we don't know what we're doing watching this film. We're like, why are we here? Why are we watching this? Did you guys pay to see this? I apologize. <laughs> the Meg 2. Uh, there are great shark movies, but this is not one of them. Uh, number two. One of the worst comic book movies I've seen in a long time. It, it might actually be one of the worst MCU films. That was the Marvels. I thought the Marvels was ass. There's not one thing I liked about this movie. I did not like the chemistry between uh, Monica and Carol and Kamala. I know everyone loves Kamala Khan. They all think she's amazing. I think she's annoying. I can't stand her. I don't think she's funny. Nothing against the actress, but I don't think the chemistry is good. I thought the CGI was shit. I thought the action was shit. I thought the villain was one of the worst villains. I thought the story was all over the place. I thought Nick Fury was wasted. I thought it was cringy with its comedy and its scenarios. I thought it was trying to be like nine movies in one. It goes from confusing to stupid to unfunny to boring to confusing to stupid and unfunny again. So good job, MCU. You have made a lot of stinkers this year. Uh, it would have been probably my number one, but my number one is probably everybody's number one if you saw it. And that's Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I think this movie was literally made just to be everybody's number one worst movie of the year. Because it's not even really a movie. It's a movie, but it's not a movie. The acting is just shit, but it's almost like it was intentionally awful. I don't know. I it's, It was just like, let's take fairy tales fairy tale stories and make them horror characters and make it a horror movie and we're gonna make sequels and you know bambi let's do that i'm like what are you doing just just stupid and just i i was told to watch the movie because everyone was telling me it was like this like uniquely awful film that you just need to watch because it'll probably make the worst of your probably be the worst movie of the year for you and it is and that's why i watched it just so i could put it at number one just so i could say I sat through this movie, and I survived. <laughs> so yeah, that was my top 10 worst movies of 2023. So let me know in the comments below what are the worst movies in your guys' opinion of the entire year of 2023. I'll be back with uh, my overrated and underrated movies of 2023 in the next week or two when I'm back from my vacation. Have a Merry Christmas. Join the Dark Side.